Yeah. The, the most important thing for Sido, as I said, when I first walked into the football club, was to concentrate on his football. If he plays well and does well at this football club, then hope, hopefully for him and for everybody else, a top four club might come in. And West Bromwich Albion will not stop him, um, as long as the deal's right for the club, will not stop him joining the top four club. We hope and pray that he stays with us, Peter, because he's got a lot more to come. And we don't think he's at the end of his development. But if a top four club comes in and the clubs agree a fee, then fine. And then it's all done. People can shake hands and say what a great job he's done for the football club. Not only has he been here since a young kid and we've looked after him, but the club have made a, a, you know, a money on him and we have to reinvest in other people. That's, you know, that's the fact of life. I think silo has been in the shop window for the last year or so. I think people have been talking about him and rightly so. And you know, as I've said before to Peter, there's no problems with that. Every football club understands. The most important thing is that Sido keeps <coughs> that to one side and concentrates on his football. Because that's why people are talking about it. Because he's played well on the pitch, because he's done the business on the pitch. And he's got his head down and really worked hard. And, and you know, if you have a look at his running stats again against Chelsea, they're absolutely fantastic. Never mind the two goals he scored. You know, the kid's gone on to a different level in respect of you know, the effort and commitment he's putting in for the team because it is a team game.